all the equipment needed on a sterile surface. Position the patient lying supine with the abdomen exposed. Identify and mark the site for needle and draining insertion in the right or left lower quadrant, lateral to the rectus sheath, avoiding any distended veins or scars visible on the abdominal wall. A generally accepted suitable position is 3 cm superior and medial to the anterior superior iliac spine. This position may be difficult to identify in obese patients. Support from senior colleagues is required in these situations. Re-examine the abdomen and percuss to elicit dullness over the acidic fluid. Bedside ultrasound may be used to mark a safe point for needle entry away from bowel or solid organs. This is most likely to be considered where acidic tap has failed or where the patient has an anatomical contraindication such as an abdominal malignancy. Perform full surgical style hand washing and put on a protective apron or sterile gown, sterile gloves and consider wearing eye protection throughout. Maintain a sterile equipment field. Prepare the exposed skin with antiseptic solution and place a sterile fenestrated drape over the target area. Infiltrate local anaesthetic into the skin and subcutaneous tissue with a 25 gauge needle and into the deeper tissues with a 21 gauge needle. For both acidic tap and acidic drain procedures, the Z track technique may be used. With a non dominant hand, stretch the skin slightly around the injection site to displace the underlying subcutaneous tissue. When the skin relaxes back into position after the needle has been removed, the acidic fluid is less likely to backtrack up through the superficial layers because of the so-called Z-track that is formed when this technique is carried out. For simple diagnostic aspiration, use a 21 gauge needle and 20 milliliter syringe and insert it 90 degrees to the skin. Advance carefully into the abdominal cavity until fluid is freely aspirated. Aspirate 10 to 20 milliliters of fluid and then withdraw the needle. Apply a simple dressing and dispose of all sharps carefully into a sharps bin. Distribute the aspirated fluid into carefully labeled specimen pots for white cell count with cell differential, albumin, protein, amylase, microbiology, and cytology and other tests as needed. For acidic drainage, after preparing the skin using the same steps, Make a small incision on the skin at the pre-marked point. Take the drain with a 20 ml syringe attached and insert at 90 degrees to the skin. Carefully advance through the abdominal wall tissues. When the drain pierces the parietal peritoneum, there will be a slight give, at which point acidic fluid should be freely aspirated. If ascites is not freely aspirated, then it is not appropriate to proceed to drainage and the site should be reviewed by a senior clinician. Advance the catheter over the needle and withdraw the needle completely. Attach the collection system and secure the drain in place with an adhesive dressing or a suture. If a suture has been used, apply an adhesive dressing as well and dispose of all sharps carefully into a sharps bin. <laughs>